Hello guys, this is Cosmo and welcome back to SnowRunner. Now, for today, we are finally doing it. We are finally moving over uh, an oil rig drill bit. We are also doing it in the new truck just to get it through its paces. Plus, it seems as it has a wider base, so it would be better for carrying loads. Um, also, I didn't put its uh, off-road suspension. I'm going to stick it with the balanced suspension because, again, we're going to be doing a lot of roads. And we will be doing uh, not the drill. I know we need to do the metal beams first to, to the drilling site. However, uh, given that we're going to be leaving from this area, might as well just um, might as well just grab uh, the oil rig from here because there's no way there's no oil rigs uh, oil rig drills whatever to be found in the Black River, so we have actually imported from uh, here. We'll uh, path the way back. Be interesting returning to our old stomping grounds. Let's accept it. Let's head out. Now, I already noticed that uh, this truck is a lot noisier than my fleet star. And to be fair, I think it might be smarter, given that we don't have to do much off road with it, to use the, um, the smaller tires. We're still sticking with the 47s instead of the 45s or 42s or no, 43s. There we go. Which make it a bit bouncier, more bouncier than I may, may want. However, uh, the terrain in Black River isn't all that bad, so I'm just gonna put it out of my mind. Uh, this does have apparently a much, a much reduced, uh, well, not much reduced, but it has less power to weight ratio than the Fleet Star, and actually, hmm, weird. Usually with the uh, trailer attached it would also change the thing at the top right the stats at the top so it's an a now i don't know if it was an a plus i think it was an a plus before and anyway uh this technically is a slightly weaker truck to be upgraded than the fleet star but i think this is actually meant to be the more off-road variant of it just with the wider base um and with the bigger tires even it's limited to the exact same type of tires. So, um... Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm gonna transition this specifically into my uh, off-road truck, maybe? Maybe, I don't know, we'll see. But, you know, it's, it's gonna be hard. Just, after all we're done with the Fleet Star, putting it back into some menial highway travel duty it's just gonna i'm gonna be sad just getting it replaced by this uh new shiny fancy purple truck and you're gonna probably be asking me why is it purple well it's purple because why not it seemed to me to be like a purple truck oh uh wow sorry guys about that again i have my Headlights bound to C, and C is automatically bound to switch uh, zones and a few other things. So let's turn on the lights after we leave this area. There we go. Now, uh, what's the path we're going to be taking? We have to deliver it to the drilling site. Uh, uh, we have a bridge here, but honestly, that's way, way, way of a runabout. To be honest, it's not that bad, but we kind of want to save some time here, don't we? Because we always want to save time, and it always blows up in our faces. So let's... Uh, this is pretty bad. We're, we're not going to bother with that, especially not with the weight we have. So let's try going through here. So we'll... Cross this. Right, okay. We'll uh, go through the middle of town as we usually do. I'm trying to put these markers just a bit before so we'll know when to turn left and right just because we have the huge trailer now. Mm, 
Okay, and we'll somehow turn around here. I'm not exactly sure what's the rain there for us to get here and then deliver the drainage site again. We will not be able to complete it, but we can just leave it in the general direction, general area. And then when we'll come back, we'll reattach it to the trailer. We'll actually reattach it to the truck and then do that. Okay, let's go all-wheel drive. We have 300 liters, so we have should not even consider the fact that uh, we'll run out of fuel. Take it easy. It's the easiest thing in this game to happen is to get you know caught off guard by how much weight you're actually pulling, and when you actually need to brake, well, <laughs> you just end up uh, sliding across the entire road for like 40 meters. Literally because uh, you forgot you're pulling I don't know how many tons behind you. Given the fact that we did unlock a fair bit of the map, this truck is more or less fully upgraded. It has a differential lock, all-wheel drive, uh, the best tires it can mount, if I'm not mistaken, minus, of course, the chain tires. Uh, so this is more or less the its uh, final form. And of course, well, minus the off-road transmission. of these very long five slot uh, semi trailers but in my experience I've always had better luck with uh, semi trailers than uh, actual trailers they just be more well, easier to use easy easy let's prevent all the jumping around and this is exactly where the race suspension and the uh, 47 inch wheels come into play. I was discussing last episode how it's possible that in some situations you may want to have um, a lowered suspension, especially if you're doing like road work, well, highway work, I mean. There's this tendency in the game to go for most off-road you can go, but I've actually had some situations where I may have wanted um, less bounciness, less um, issues. I think that was a manual switch down to auto gear, but apparently that's not gonna cut it. We actually need to switch over into low gear. The differential lock and let's hope that's enough to pull this up this might be one of those situations where you may have wanted the uh, fleet stars uh, pulling capacity that s plus is just s anyways So 
will need to actually leave the trailer here. So something I can really count on. And we need to get another four slot trailer to actually get the two metal beams we need for the first uh, stage of this quest. Contract, whatever, mission. You know, in retrospect, were I to want to, you know, do this, uh, maybe I would want the off-road uh, on this, just for this extra pulling capacity here, and maybe I'd want a balanced on Fleet Star. We are going to be uh, setting up roles and making this the more off-roady truck, the fleet star the more... But to be honest, at that point, how many trucks do you actually really even need? I mean, you can have like uh, 50 different uh, keys, wrenches for uh, the same job, but you can only use one. Okay, either way. Dropping point is there. I think, yeah, I think it's a safe bet just to park it in there. Even if uh, it will not uh, complete the mission. Management. Yeah, we do need to unload that. Uh, but doesn't matter. Let's do V, attached trailer. Okay, that's properly set up. Do we have any other trailers we can pick up? Uh, good thing I cleared up the entire town, right? <laughs> of trailers. And uh, I sold them off. That's a sideboard trailer. No, we kind of need. Should we go back all the way to the trailer store? Uh, I guess we could. I guess we could. Actually, let's do something horrible. Let's cross through here. If we fail, it won't be that big of a deal because we have the garage in the area. So let's uh, just head through town. Go by the trailer store and Actually, is it quicker to go to the garage? What do we even have here? We have a scout flatbed and that's it? Ah, okay. Hmm. I'm uh, physically stroking my beer right now. Yeah, okay, let's, uh, let's do that. Let's just visit the... Hmm, this is complicated. Because after this, if I'm not mistaken, we will... I mean, we still need the... the hitch... to grab this and deliver it. And for the third one, we will require to pull a semi-rig. Semi-trader rig from here. So we still need the... This is a this one we need a high hitch, so we need to switch in between anyway. Yeah, you know what? No, uh, this terrain is much better suited. Let's um, head back. Let's just go back to garage. Let's recover. Um, let's leave. And I think we had... I wouldn't want to get a trailer. I kind of hate trailers, as I mentioned. Are there any four-slot trailers that I care about? 
Ramp flat bed trailer. So no hitch mounted trailers more than two slots. Okay. So we're just getting another we can get the ramp flatbed trailer, it's kind of bad, but it's the cheapest one. That we have available, and we don't need the five slots, we need the four slots. Okay, let's get the ramp flatbed trailer. Hmm. Mm, yeah, okay. Yeah, let's, let's do it like this annoying just because we end up with a lot of trailers back there you know what would be cool do you guys know what would be actually cool to try you know what Let, let's do it let's do it because I didn't try that truck at all and I hate trailers with a passion and I hate that we'll have to leave it there and I hate that we'll have to get the new truck up there to get it back, to sell it. I hate all of that logistics. So, you know what we're going to do, guys? We have the money. We have the power. We can totally do this. So, let's, let's sell this trailer. Yeah, let's sell this trailer. Perfect. Let's recover this truck. Yes. And from the truck store, let's buy... Let's buy a twin steer. I think this comes with four slots. And we have a few options. Uh, okay. We have an off-road, which I think would be a smart option. Yes. Uh, we don't have the race suspension. Let's get uh, 55 off-roads. Okay, not sure what the difference physically is. So whatever is these more expensive 55s, maybe they're more expensive for a very good reason. Okay. OHD, OHS, I don't know what's the difference. I'll check it later, but it doesn't really matter. Um, winch. Yeah, sure, let's get the extended heavy, not that we will need it. Spare wheel, hopefully not. Differential, engageable, snorkel, doesn't really matter. Sure, let's get this, sell that. Uh, let's not bother with the, with the visuals. And yeah, let's give this a shot. Let's give this a shot. Wow, this does not turn. I have a very vague feeling I'm signing on to an adventure that I may not want. And this is a four slot, yeah? Yeah, this was like a four slot. Cool. Uh, and this does not have any kind of... Uh, Will drive. Oh god, I hope this is not a mistake. In my effort to be super efficient, let's hope this is not a terrible mistake. trailer. What's this part? Wait, A minus. Yeesh. So this gets to the point A to point B. If at like 10 kilometers an hour. I would have to admit the front turning thing is fancy. I guess that's why it's called a twin steer. But still. slots it has I, I just estimated four but does it have five slots I mean can I literally put on an oil rig on this that might be cool I 
it has four slots. We'll see when we put the metal beams on it. And wow, if you have if you're having trouble in this, I mean I don't know what to say. this is more stable just because it's so long is my green right way? yeah I am I mean by this point Black River is uh, learned by memory I guess I, know, I think it has a bit of give and uh the, the cab section versus the cargo section. So uh, you would not have the same wow, issues. That you have uh, with uh, semi trailers and small and short cabs. Oh, either way. And, oh yeah, that's where the fuel is. That's where the fuel is. 360 liters of it. And I guess, yeah, in full retrospect, it was a mistake to recover that because we will still need a hitchable truck. Uh, yeah, I should have left the. Um, the white star there because we will need to get it back I'm not sure if we can complete an objective with uh, the cargo just in a semi trailer that's not tied to us it's possible we can't yeah, I'm not sure I can do this turn radius here with this truck. As someone said, it has the turn radius of Texas. Yeah, let's get all that engine damage in. Okay, let's scrape it in. Cargo management. Uh, metal beams, yep. Yeah, so this is a four slot... Uh, four slot truck. Oh well, sadly. It would be nice if it were a five slot, to be honest. Just because uh, you could get like a drig drill rig on it and we not have to leave the trailer there as we did last time. Anyhow, so let's uh, make our way to the drilling site. We're gonna be doing this. Uh, hmm. Are we gonna be doing the same the same uh, route? Because we had some issues last time. You know what? Yolo. Let's just do this. I'm sure we can make it work somehow. I mean, eesh, that stuff. I am sure we can make it work. I trust in my skills. <laughs> Worst case scenario, this does have a fairly high... Yep, this is its turning radius. I think I might have wanted to buy a triple steer if that exists because apparently the twin steer isn't steer enough. And yes, this is literally the turning radius of Texas. And that was a small doghouse which was stronger than our truck. Cool. And are we now stuck? Yes, we are now stuck. Come on. Okay, 
Okay. That was a fair bit of damage. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's hell on earth if we uh, have a tire on this. Let's not tip. Tipping would be about the worst thing that could happen. Okay, let's try turning all the way from here. I think it's wise to switch into a high low gear with the differential lock active. Well, it's doing it, probably as as good as uh, we did with the White Star. But I guess the true test is through this little murky field here. Did we just stop for one second and that was it? Okay, I'm not seeing the problem here. No, 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 no. We shall not tip. Yeah, about that tipping thing, eesh. I cannot imagine just getting a, a big rock under the rear tires and just contorting the entire truck. You'd think it had more give in the, you know, ca hitch to cargo section, but it doesn't. I mean, note to self, we entirely paid the price of that trailer in time. And yeah, pretty much low plus is equal in speed with the auto first gear on this truck. Okay, cool. That built something. Now, sadly enough... Sadly enough, we cannot... Pick that, th that thing up. And... I don't think we can actually mount... Not that we are able to right now. I'm pretty sure the, it's not something we can do, but... Yeah, totally not. Okay, let's recover. Um, let's just quickly look. Yeah, no, no options for any saddles on it. Uh, we're gonna keep it here for the moment. No use actually sending it off right now. Um, we're gonna keep this with the saddle low. I wanted to do something with the suspension. Yeah, I thought I was gonna use a uh, 43-inch smaller wheels on this. And... Yeah, let's... 
whatever. Let's just leave it. Let's not bother with it. Let's keep it set for off-road. And uh, sure, let's give it the off-road gearbox. Okay, uh, we need to get this back there. Uh, but I think I'm gonna I'm gonna skip that for you guys. I'm just gonna go there. Uh, I'm gonna deliver that. But I'm gonna put this on pause, and I'll see you guys in my real life ten minutes. And welcome back. We're almost there. Just uh, crossing over that uh, old bridge where we had our first big uh, tipping with the oil tanker. I just wanted to uh, mention how I feel like the engine is under power, the stock engine is under power for this truck, just because the gear shifting happens so early and basically it feels like from gear, the first gear to the fourth gear you're not getting any speed boost at all, but uh, you know, once you switch to like, uh, I don't know, maybe third or fourth gear, it just, uh, you know, goes. So I think this uh, deals a lot better once we, uh, feels a lot better once we upgrade the engine. Either way, we are here. This is the first stage already set up of the oil rig. We are now just gonna move this in. That was my asshole puckering up. We are going to move this in 5 meters, just so these guys can uh, go like, Oh, that's the ore we will be waiting for. Okay, let's... Okay. Thankfully that was just enough. Cargo management, not a drill. There we go. That was uh, that little section. And we still have uh, one thing to do for this uh, not a drill, the first in the many things we need to do here to uh, finish this area, and that's to get uh, a high saddle required uh, construction rig semi trailer. If you guys remember from one of the earlier episodes when we were here with a um, Chevrolet Scout and we were um, just jumping all over these uh, rocks, it's that uh, electrical looking generator thing uh thing is that is indeed a trip and that's gonna be heavy and that's gonna be on road and off road and that's probably gonna be the next episode um i'm gonna be taking uh, this trailer to the trailer store uh off screen just so i don't bother you guys with uh, the logistics of it it shouldn't be that much fun to watch and again this was the episode of the day. If you guys liked it, please click like, subscribe, all that good YouTube stuff. Uh, comments are always appreciated, and I try to answer all the comments uh, in the comment section. Again, I do this uh, calm content thing every day for a snow runner. So uh, if you like this, do all that stuff I mentioned earlier, and I will see you guys in the next one.